Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about when you're moving to Gutenberg from a big old site. And my site started in 2008. So if you go back to page 45 of my blog posts, I have 45 pages of blog posts, right? And as a blogger, I have spent the last 11 years figuring out how to use WordPress exactly the way I want it. I have all the plugins I want. I have everything I need to make it right. And so I wasn't compelled to learn Gutenberg. Why do I want to learn Gutenberg? What I thought was happening was they were trying to dumb it down. Um, I know HTML. I used to make HTML websites in 2002, so I like the fact that I could just pop over to the text editor. And there didn't seem to be a reason why I should change. And then um, I started using <laughs> started using it on my baby new site, and it was okay. It's really quite good. I have some videos about using reusable blocks and how to write blog posts, and I liked it. But I was still like. I have 45 pages of blog posts, so um, I don't want to break them all. And I had done, um, I had changed some stuff on the little baby site for even just a few of the posts that I had before. And it kind of did break everything, not everything, it broke the individual posts. So it, I'll, I'll give you an example of what broke. So I use the, um, I use this, Easy Multi Product, things um, for uh, making uh, product displays. So if you want to have three little, you know, Amazon things, it's it writes a little bit of code and then I can plop it in, right? So I have lots of things in 45 pages of sites that are like that. And when I, when I, and I'm going to show you how to do that, but when I converted it to blocks, it broke all of that. There, there was just, I mean, it, I wish I hadn't changed over to blocks on those pages. Um, I would have left them alone. And now I know to do that. So thank the little sweet baby Jesus. You won't have to do that. Okay. So let's start with number one. You can have the plugin, which if you're watching this video, I'm sure you have the classic editor plugin, right? So on that, you can, you can have it so it just, it's just like WordPress. You don't, like, you don't even have to know there's a Gutenberg, right? And that's what I had to start. Um, and then I got a little brave and I said, uh, and that's when you have default editor for all users. And um, I had classic editor checked and then I switched it to block editor. Okay, and that means that every new post I make is going to be in the block editor, but you can still switch it back to classic editor if you want to. So this is, this is not a, if you make this switch, there's no going back. You can change it to classic editor very easily. Okay, so don't be stressed about that. But I was like, okay, fine. I'm not going to mess with 45 pages but I am going to um, be able to update if I'm like redoing a post and I'm uh, updating the content and updating the date, then I do try to do it in the block editor because I want to, like, I know that they're going to switch over. If I'm going to be going to all the trouble of updating a post, I want to update it in what I'm going to have to do anyways. Um, but you, do, you can still have the classic editor if you wanted to switch back. And it doesn't, it's not as scary as I thought it was. But the other thing that happened is that I just took it off my baby site. I took off it all together and now it's only block editor. So you could do, um, rip the bandaid off, figure it out, do all that. Or you can do this kind of little in between step where you're learning on your new blog post, but you're leaving all your old blog posts on. Okay. Anyways, so. This is what we want to do. So if you have, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. So all my new ones say draft block editor, draft block editor. I've written all these. I've been using it for about a month. Um, so I've written all these in block editor, right? Drafts all in block editor. 
So this is the first one that is in Classic Editor, right? And I want to show you what this is and why it matters to you. Okay, so what's going to happen now is it's going to just be like my old thing. It doesn't even it doesn't even matter, right? Like it just looks like my old my old thing. So you could get really used to it with that. Now, the and it's kind of an either or, right? So you either have half and half, like the new ones are block and the old ones are this. And I'll show you a block post because they're really, like this isn't a how to do Gutenberg. Um, so this is what I'm writing right now, seven cool reusable uh, things. So this is what Gutenberg looks like and it has all kinds of, you know, you write a little bit differently. It has a lot of cool functions. I'm happy to use it. Um, but it, it, like, I'm not ready to have every single page on my site in blocks. Still don't worry, okay? We're going to go over to my baby site where I switched everything to, um, right? We're going to go over to my baby site where we switched everything to, yeah, I can leave that. Um, so there's only blocks, right? I took off the classic plugin. I ripped the Band-Aid off. And uh, yeah, so they're all blocks now. Okay, so these ones are ones that, that I just wrote in block editor, right? Nice. So there's no block editor now. All of them are block editor. Um, and so like I have Mediavine, so that's my uh, sticky video and you can make backgrounds. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, and each one of these is a little block. It's not as annoying as you thought it would be, I promise you. Um, but I do have some older posts in here. If you go back to page, let's say we go back to page even three. Okay, so here we go. Five tips for when you're trying to adopt older foster kids. This is what happens to your old posts if you don't, if you like take the plugin off, okay? So it's not as scary as we thought it was going to be. It's okay. You can, you can, but they'll all say classic, right? And so you, you can come in here, you can make your changes. Um, I think, oh, you could edit it in HTML, which is not as nice as the other one, right? It's not terrible. But it's not as nice as the text one was. But you could still get to the HTML of your site. And you can make any changes in here that you, you know, you could. Uh, maybe you can't type. Can you type in there? Nope. So you could, you could add to the top or you could add to the bottom. But you're kind of stuck with it that way. Just gonna make sure I'm not lying to you. I'm I'm not seeing that I'm able to make changes. So if you were, if you leave them alone, they look great, right? They look like my blog post I wrote. And if so, if you left them alone and never touched them, you would be just fine. But say we have to do something to them. Hack. Okay, so then what you would do is you would come here to this little button and you would say convert to blocks, okay? And now it's all in blocks. In this post, it's fine. It really is fine, and there's cool things I can do. Like I would like this, um, this to be in a, uh, I'm in the way. I would like this to be in a colored block now, which I do in, Gutenberg, really easy, and all that. But this is a really plain blog post, right? There's not any, um, there's not any HTML. There's no uh, queries. There's nothing like that. I'm fine with updating this, but I will tell you that when I did some of the other old ones that had, um, oh God. 
I did this one, 25 fun nursing home gift ideas for women. I've already fixed it, so I can't show you. But what happened was it broke, it broke everything. Like it, instead of being a, um, like I had to reload pictures, I had to um, redo um, all the links because it had been in, um, in that program that I was telling you about. So I functionally had to go in and redo it. Now that having been said, if I had just left well enough alone, right? Like, so let's go to a little bit older one. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, so this one is, was written in regular WordPress and it just has the big block, right? And this, see, I did think you could change it. So I don't know what was up with that last one, but, but in most of them, you could make some changes. Um, you could always go over to, you know, you could always make some little bit of changes in it. Um, so it's not a big deal, right? Um, but I have stuff in here that could break. So say I had, I'm trying to think of one I have. Those things in, because that was not good. Um, oh, 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 here we go. Uh, might be. All right. All right, I didn't have them in there. So I think I've broken all mine. But what happened is, so when you do this and you say, convert to blocks, if you have content that, that used to be HTML and it has divs in it and has all kinds of stuff in it, it's gonna break it, right? So you should be worried if you're going through and updating, like it took me three hours to update seven posts, right? Because I functionally had to rewrite that part of it again. Looking back, I never would have converted it. Like you could have just left it in that classic editor in that one big giant block and not have to worry about it. Let's try something though. I've never tried this. Say I changed it to blocks and I don't save it. So I've never said update, right? So let's go back. It's going to say, do I want to save it? I want to leave it. So say you made a horrible mistake. Let's see if it's, yeah, so now it's back to classic. So at the end of the day, you don't have to be that worried. They're not going to break your site. They just dumped that whole blog post into one big Gutenberg block. And it seems as if you can use it pretty easily. And at the very least, you have kind of a uh, heroic fail safe, just don't save it, right? Um, but that having been said, I wanna take just a minute to talk to you about whether you wanna to convert to Gutenberg or not. Eventually we're gonna to have to do it, or maybe it's at that time when you have to do it. Um, I was really worried about it, and I have found that there are some really cool things in it that make it easier. You can, uh, I want to dispel some myths. You can do no follow on pictures. You can do no follow on, um, on links. It, you do have to go into the HTML to do it, but it's super, super easy. Um, it doesn't have as many plugins that work with it. Um, but you can still use all of your, the ones that matter to me were like the Pinterest plugins. Um, but so you can still use all your Pinterest plugins. Um, yeah, see here they are. Do, do, do. Oh, that's your document. Now, you're not going to be, so, so based on this, if this was a block, you would be able to do lots with that picture. But it's just a giant block. So you're not going to be any able to do any of the cool Gutenberg things 
unless you convert this to a Gutenberg. But if you're worried that you have, like me, you know, 10 years of blog posts, it's not going to ruin your 10 years of blog posts, okay? So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Earthly.